What's up, you guys? Uh, so I'm going to show you guys this thing I do sometimes when I'm late in a song and I want to change a kick sample. And the way I change it with another one is I use the file manager. Because um, sometimes once you get towards the end of songwriting, uh, you might not like a kick so much. And uh, so in this case, I have this kick that I want to change out. But I don't want to delete all this track and then start, you know, copying, pasting a kick pattern to match all the pauses and breaks in between. So the kind of quick way that I use it, it uh, in Ableton, there's like this hot swap mode for plugins. Well, if you go to view and file manager, you pretty much can go to manage set, which will manage, uh, you know, the samples and such inside of the project. And you go view files and you kind of just figure out which sample is the one you want to swap out and you can swap that out easily with another one so this is the one I want to swap out so I zoomed in a bit I know which one it is it's uh, this one right here so I'll go to I'll press this button right here which is the hot swap file uh, button and now I can just go to uh, my library or my plugin I mean uh, sample folders that I have placed right here and now I can just swap it out. So I'll just look for one of my kicks that I made to swap out. Okay, so if I go over here and I play this, that's the one that I'm going to swap out for this. So I just, I got to go back over here, click on swap, and I got to go back through all this and click on it and now it's swapped out every instance of that kick with this one and you have even noticed that the automation that I had on the other one is now applied to this kick so uh, even though it's called the same name it's not even that uh, it's not even that uh, sample anymore so the fade and everything else is exactly the same. I mean, the name of the clip is the same, but it's not. It's a different kick. So this is a really quick way to keep swapping out kicks if you already have a big session going on, because you can imagine how painful this would be, or how much time it would take to, you know, place a new kick, add a fade to it, and then duplicate it over, and then copy a section over, and then take out the pauses, and then you know this whole thing. Especially if I'm going to replace all three rows of kicks. So this is just the quick way to do it. You know, uh, it's kind of a good workflow kind of thing to keep in mind. So you can work without the fear of going too far in and not being able to go back quickly. Because uh, if you go too far in and you're afraid of, you know, there's, if you've, a lot of producers have this thing that I noticed where it's kind of like this fear of no coming back. Like where they feel like they've progressed so much in a track but are afraid to take the steps back to start over from scratch then that could be a bad thing so this is one of those ways that you can handle samples with that same with the hot swap file mode to uh, change things no matter how far in a track you are so I uh, hope you guys will find use of this it's not really a hidden feature but I don't ever see enough people talking about the file manager and replacing files so hopefully you guys like this like subscribe comment and thanks guys